G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video I will be grading each AFL team's 2022 season. So yeah, let's get straight into it and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so the first team will be Adelaide. And obviously Adelaide coming in with 8 wins this season. Finishing 14th place. Not the best of the year. Um... They struggled once again, but they did have some games where they did really get close and they tried hard. Um, like with Collingwood, I think they were winning at one stage, but Collingwood came back and won that game. Uh, I think it was really close in the end. I think it was uh, like 10 points. I can't remember the exact score. Um, they had some close games this year. They were a bit unlucky in a couple, but other than that, their season wasn't that good. and. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to put them in C. Um, yeah. So next is Brisbane. And Brisbane obviously finished six. Um, probably uh, not the best um, way to end the season in round 23 when they lost to Melbourne by a lot. Um, and cost them a top four spot. They did have a good finals run, but um, obviously Geelong were too good for them in the prelim. Um, I'm probably going to say their season was a B. It was all right, but it wasn't the best at times. Like, they should have beaten uh, uh, Richmond, us, like, in round 20. Like, it was, like, 70 to 28 at one stage, and we got up and won, like, by seven points. And there were some other games that they really should have won, so they probably should have made the top four. And I think they cost themselves. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to put them in B. And then Carlton, um, I'm going to put them in B as well, just behind the lines. Um, Carlton, yes, they were having, they were off to a blinder of a season at the start and they were looking like they were going to make the finals easily. And then in the last three games, they lost and they fell out ninth and um, it was pretty embarrassing from them in the eight all season and then they... Um, dropped out because of the last match they were quite unlucky they lost by one point but it's a it was pretty big improvement from Carlton they you know have been down the last couple of years and this season with Michael Voss they've um, improved out of sight and they were unlucky to miss the finals but they really should have made the finals so I'm going to give their season a B next is Collingwood I'm going to give Collingwood an A from going from 17th to 4th this year and Craig McRae has just been oh, the best coach for them and um, he's been a really handy coach for them. Um, just the way they played their games um, and how they won those, like those 10 close games, pretty uh, impressive from them and what a, what a season they had. They were unlucky in the prelim. They lost by one point, obviously. Um, and they just improved. And I, f I reckon everybody who did their ladder predictions this year had Collingwood at least from 14th to 18th. And they surprised everybody and surprised probably their own fans as well. So, yeah, they did really good Collingwood. And they had a good season, but they were once again unlucky in the prelim by losing by one point to Sydney. So I'm gonna give their season an A. Next is Essendon and finishing us uh, 15th this year. Um, not the best of a season, probably a really bad start. I think they were better towards the end of the season, maybe the second half, they were slightly better. They won a couple more games in that uh, second half, but they still um, didn't do that good. They were pretty bad in the first half of the season, then in the Second half, obviously, I said they won a couple of games, but not many. Um, yeah, not much um, from Essendon this season. And, um, yeah, so I'm probably going to give their season um, a C above Adelaide, though. Next is Fremantle. I'm going to give Fremantle's season a B above Freo. Um, much improvement from Freo. A lot of people didn't expect Freo to go into the finals. They've had they had a really good season, and um, they were quite unlucky to miss it out on the top four. Um, finished fifth, and they won their first final, but then lost to Collingwood in the semis. Um, yeah, much improvement, and um, 
you know, I don't get why a lot of players are leaving. Um, I think they should be staying. I think Freo's on the rise up and they might be good in a couple of years. Um, but, yeah, good season from Fremantle, finished fifth. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to give them a B. Next is Geelong, and I'm going to give Geelong, obviously, an A+. Plus. Premiership, 18 wins in 22 games, four losses. You can't say anything wrong about that. Um, next is Gold Coast. Um, give Gold Coast, finished 12th this year, and only 10 wins for the season. A lot of games they probably should have won, I reckon. They were unlucky, like against Port Adelaide. I think they lost by two points. And a couple of other games. So, yeah. Give their season a B, I guess. But behind Carlton. Next is GWS. Finish with six wins this year. And finish 16th on the ladder. Pretty poor season from GWS. I'm going to put them in C. Um, behind Essendon, Adelaide and Adelaide. Next is Hawthorne. And... Eight wins this season, finished 13th. Not the best of a season, to be honest. Um, I'll give them a... Uh, I'll give them a C, just uh, behind Essendon. Um, next is Melbourne. I'll give Melbourne an A, but behind Collingwood. They were just too good in the first half of the season, Melbourne. But when it got to the second half, it's when thing cha- things changed and... They lost um, some games, and um, but then when they came coming, well, then when, sorry, when they were coming into the finals, they um, looked strong. But then they went out in straight sets in the finals and had a really bad final series. Um, yeah, so they still had an all right season, Melbourne, um, but in, their finals run was really poor. So I'm going to give them an A though, still. Next is North Melbourne and obviously um, D. They finished last this year in a back-to-back wooden spoons and uh, obviously poor season. But now with Coach Alistair Clarkson and some players um, heading over to North Melbourne now in the trade period, they should be able to at least get off the bottom next year and um, hopefully improve. Um, So, yeah, North uh, sitting in D. Port Adelaide, I'm going to give... They did finish 11th, but I'm going to give Port Adelaide um, a C, uh, just above Essendon. Really poor season from Port Adelaide. I know they did finish 11th, but their first half of the season, uh, nobody expected. Last year, they make the prelim and they get smashed and nobody expected it. But people were like, oh yeah, Port Adelaide will steal make you know the finals next year they'll still be good and then they come out this season they have a shocker they start the season bad i think it was like zero and five and then it just gets worse from there and then they improved in the second half of the season and won some uh, most of the games won 10 games but it wasn't enough at the time to make the finals because they had already lost most games in the first half of the season and it was a bit of a shock to many, their own supporters as well. So, um, yeah, I thought their season uh, was poor and they could have done better. So I'm going to give them a C. Richmond season. Um, obviously, we finished 7th and uh, won 13 games. Um, and we're probably better towards maybe the second half. But we did lose to North, Gold Coast. And we should have won both of those games. Geelong, we should have won. There were so many games this year that we should have won. Sydney, St Kilda, Carlton the first time, um, Gold Coast, North Melbourne. There's like five games we should have won and we lost um, by about five points each game. So, uh, well, Carlton, we lost by 25, but we were winning that game and we should have won that game and we choked in the last quarter. And um, the other games we were unlucky. We lost by five points. But against Gold Coast, we should have never lost. And against North, well, we should never have lost to North Melbourne. And I think we could have probably finished about second, really, if we won all those games, which we should have. But we didn't. And when you don't uh, win those type of games in those close ones, that's what happens. You can miss out and really um, be unlucky. And... We went into the finals against Brisbane and we lost in by two points and we were probably robbed by the umpires. 
I reckon Lynch's, whether it was a goal or a point, the camera angles were that bad. I don't get how it was so clear to tell it was um, a point because those camera angles were really bad. But however, I'm going to give our season um, a B. I think our season was pretty good. And look, we did lose those games, but we did all right. And um, yeah, we made the finals at least. Next is St Kilda and um, finishing 10th this year. Not the best end to the season, to be honest. Um, I'll probably have to give them oh, probably a B, but um, behind um, Gold Coast. Um, yeah, um, yeah, St Kilda, they yeah it didn't drop a bit to the end of the season, but then they... Um, Oh yeah, they didn't make the finals. Uh, next is Sydney, and I'll give Sydney a a. Um, they had a good season and had a good finals run. Obviously, got whipped in the grand final, but when they played against um, Melbourne, they really proved themselves. And then we should have won by against Collingwood by a lot more. But then at the last minute, Collingwood came and they just snuck home by a point, and then went on to play Geelong and got. Um, and Geelong just said to Sydney, I'll oh, see you later. So, um, yeah, and Geelong won the game grand final by 81 points. So, yeah, um, but Sydney's season overall was really good. They um, improved a lot, like finishing, I think it was sixth or seventh last year. They really showed themselves um, who they are and, you know, what they can um, compete like and thought they had a really good season. Um, finishing third and, yeah... Next is West Coast. I'll give West Coast a season a D just behind North. They obviously, um, yeah, went down this year. Eagles, I mean, COVID did um, cost them um, a bit of games, you know, because they were losing like 10 to 15 players at some stages of the season. And, um, but yeah, I don't really see West Coast um, going to be any good next year. I mean, um, most players have retired and, some are going to other clubs and yeah, I don't know what the future holds for West Coast, but finishing 17th this year and a pretty poor season. Um, so yeah, and last but not least is the Bulldogs. Um, you know, made the grand final last year and um, so, oh, well, that's just gonna stay there. Okay, don't worry, that's not where they go. But um, made the grand final last year and, um, and then just very lucky to sneak into the finals. I mean, I mean, if you're a Bulldog supporting and you're watching Carlton Collingwood, you must have been happy that Collingwood um, won. But then you guys um, choked a 41-point lead in the grand final. Uh, I mean, not the grand final. The um, first week of the finals against Freo when you should have won that game by a lot. And you guys choked by a lot. Um, and I think you guys were just pure luck to get into the finals. And I didn't think that your guys' season was that good. And um, you guys should have done much better. And, um, you know, making the grand final last year. So I'm going to probably um, give your season a C above Port Adelaide. And that's all my gradings for each AFL team's 2022 AFL season. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all next time.